So one of the most important functions of the endocrine pancreas is the production of the hormone insulin. So it was in the year 1889 when the surgeon Oscar Minkowski and John Joseph Merring uh, started their uh, breakthrough experiment on the discovery of insulin. So the, these surgeons used a uh, normal or healthy dogs in their experiment. So what they did was uh, they removed you know, the pancreas from the healthy dog. Uh, these dogs are said to be house trained. So after their uh, removal of the pancreas of the dog, so they observed that the dogs uh, began to urinate uncontrollably. There is also the swarming on the, uh, on the pool of the dog urine. And they also observed that the urines, uh, the sugar content of the urine went up. So it was uh, Minkowski who performed the operation and made the crucial link to recognize that the symptoms of the treated dogs were due to diabetes. So these are some of the symptoms of the, the dog that was uh, used experimentally in this study. This was the first uh, experimentally, experimentally created diabetes. And uh, these dogs died several weeks later as a result of diabetes. Minkowski and Von Mering were able to indicate that the pancreas contained regulators to control blood sugar level. And uh, the dysfunction that have resulted to the death of the dogs must, cause, must be caused by diabetes. Von Mering and Minkowski provided a model for the study of diabetes and their work led to other doctors and scientists to pursue further research on the relation of the pancreas to diabetes and ultimately resulted in the discovery of insulin as a treatment for diabetes. So their study have led to the discovery of the link between diabetes, not to the development of diabetes and the pancreas. So in the year 1921, these four men, uh, these four scientists were behind the development, the discovery, and the purification and isolation of uh, insulin, as well as the treatment of the disease diabetes. So the first here, we have here uh, Frederick Grant Banting. Banting developed the research idea and collaborated with Banting and made most of the experiments and surgeries. We also have here Charles Best. Uh, Charles Best collaborated with Banting on most of the experiments and surgeries that led to the discovery of insulin. They also collaborated with John MacLeod. So MacLeod provided the laboratory and the scientific guidance through all the research steps. And finally, James Bertram Collip played a central role in isolating and purifying the insulin that was discovered by Banting and Best. In the year uh, 1921, particularly July 27, 1921, this marks one of the most important days you know, in, the, in the treatment of diabetes. On that day, in 1921, Dr. Frederick Banting, a Canadian surgeon and Charles Best, a medical student, successfully isolated the hormone insulin for the first time. The breakthrough research took place at the University of Toronto, where Banting and Best successfully isolated insulin from dogs, produced diabetes symptoms in the animals, and then provided insulin injections that produced normal blood glucose levels. Dr. Banting shared his success with Professor MacLeod. In the photo here, we have here uh, Banting and uh, Charles Best. With the first ever treated, with the first ever dog you know, that was treated with the hormone insulin, and that is Marjorie. So Marjorie played an important role in the discovery of insulin. She was the first 
the pancreatized animal to be kept alive by insulin. On the year uh, January 23, 1922, a 14-year-old Leonard Thompson became the first person to receive the insulin injection in the treatment of diabetes mellitus, particularly uh, John Leonard has a type 1 diabetes. So type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune uh, disorder wherein the immune system of the host or the person attacks its own cells, the cells that produces insulin, which are the beta cells. So the insulin that was used in the treatment of John Leonard's diabetes was the one you know, that was discovered by Bess and Banting in the year 1921. It was uh, James Collip that purified the insulin from the pancreas of cattle and used it to treat Leonard Thompson. So the Canadian teenager improved dramatically and the University of Toronto immediately gave pharmaceutical companies license to produce insulin free of royalties. By the year 1923, insulin had become widely available, saving countless lives around the world and Banting and MacLeod were awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine. So in the year 1923, Frederick Banting and John MacLeod were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for the discovery of insulin. In the year 1958, we also have an important figure or scientist in the description of the hormone insulin, we have here uh, Frederick Sanger. So Frederick Sanger was a British molecular biologist and he worked on the determination of the primary structure of insulin. So it was the first protein to have its sequence to be determined. And because of this, his work on the structure of insulin, he was awarded in 1958 the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. So we have here a timeline highlighting the significant contributions to the development of insulin as a therapeutic agent for the treatment of diabetes. In the year 1889, we have Minkowski and Mehring. Uh, they demonstrated the fatal disease uh, diabetes developed following total pancreatectomy in the dog. In the year 1922, MacLeod, Banting, Bess, and Collip isolated insulin and treated the first person with diabetes with insulin. We also have here the timeline of the major clinical development in insulin's evolution. So the green one here highlights the meal related insulin development. The red one here represents the development of the basal insulin. And this one here represents the discovery of the insulin and the development. So this one here refers to the discovery of insulin and the development of the human insulin. So in the year, we have here you know, a figure showing that in the year 1921, this was the first time that the, or this was the time when uh, insulin was discovered. In the year 1946, NPH insulin was uh, discovered. When we say uh, NPH insulin, you know, that is an intermediate acting type of insulin used in the treatment of diabetes mellitus. 
Uh, the MPH stands for neutral protamine hagridorn. Its function is to lower the blood glucose within one to two hours after administration and uh, its peak effect occurs at about six to ten hours. We also have here, you know, in the year 1953, the development of the lenti insulin. So lenti insulin comes from the Italian word lento, meaning slow. This is also called as an insulin zinc suspension. It has an intermediate duration and uh, it is now no longer used in human medicine. In the year 1984, the human insulin was discovered. So the green one here again represents the meal-related insulin. When we say meal-related insulin, so these are the rapid-acting insulin, also known as the bolus insulin. So these are designed to quickly act on the blood sugar during a meal. So the, is, the effect of this type of insulin can start as little as five minutes and peak after about an hour. So it works for about three hours. The red one here represents the basal insulin. When we say uh, basal insulin, um, these are slow acting type of insulin preparations. So people take it between mealtime and before bedtime to control the blood sugar outside of eating. So in this, uh, in human medicine, there are three types of basal insulin that are currently available. We have the glycinic, uh, glatomir, and the daglodec. For the polus insulin or the meal mealtime insulin, we have the lispro, Aspart and the glucin. And so these are rapid uh, insulin analog. So that was uh, prepared or that was uh, in the year 1996. So in the year 2000, we have here the first generation basal insulin analogs. Inhaled insulin was uh, discovered in the year 2006. We also have here the second generation basal analogs in the year 2015 and in the year 2017 we also have the development of the ultra rapid acting insulin analogs.